go. How you guys doing today? What's up? It's been a little while. Man, back at it. At what some people in the comment section said my mom's basement, but actually it is my own house and my basement slash my office. And yes, I still have a uh, chair problem uh, that sinks when I sit in it and, and I've been to the stores to try to figure it out and uh, cause it's not totally broken, but it is broken. I need to buy a new chair. Uh, first things first, what happens under the table stays under the table. All right, so today, I have been asked by a few people and I've shared a few of my techniques in marketing. It's weird, I, I don't like to market, I don't like to promote myself as most cinematographers, people in this industry struggle with. I realized, all right, I need to maybe get better at this and there was tools that I've used that I would like to share. Uh, tools that I pay for, tools that are free, up to 100 searches, and then uh, another tool that everyone has access to. Nonetheless, no sponsorships whatsoever, not by anyone or any brand or anything. This is just me making stuff as I see fit or as I want to. I want to help those in this industry to get further. And uh, maybe you're a director, maybe you're a DP, maybe you're a production designer or something, and maybe you saw this video and this got you on a job and then they needed a DP and then you called me. Well, win-win. I love to collaborate with all different kinds of people. So there are a few platforms that I do when I create a prospect list for, and I do this based on cities. Um, I'm based in St. Louis, Missouri, uh, which is the kind of center of the United States. I, as before I go to a city to reach out or to kind of get my foot wet in the industry at those areas or whatever, like dip your toe in or any other kind of cool analogies that I'm not remembering right now because it's been a while since I've talked to camera. Hold for a beverage break. Uh, I use these tools to reach out before I ever go to the city, and I do that months in advance. This is year two for me as a full-time freelance cinematographer. I've been able to raise the bar in, in the commercial level of projects that I've been working on and in the cities that I've been working on. I just got back from a shoot in St. Louis that went to Indianapolis and then to Baltimore uh, with a New York-based company. That is how I started to expand my network. So what do you, just hit up the contact page and you just go through their contact, their ordinary thing? Sometimes, maybe, that's the only option, but there are tools out there that help you get into the right person. That brings me to hunter.io. Hunter.io allows you up to 100 free searches. Basically, it's a program that allows you to put in a URL or website address into their domain search, and it will find all the emails that it can find associated with that email chain. When you go to their website, you're like, God dang it, how do I find this person who I want to reach out? Maybe it is just a DM, maybe, hitting up through Instagram, or maybe you comment on the page. Speaking of comments, quick detour from this whole video. I wanna give a shout out to uh, Anton Bauer. I won on Instagram a comment giveaway. I got hooked up with a free battery that's charged my monitor, which is over here. This hat, which I can't really wear hats because my head's huge. It is a snapback though, and I go to the last snap and it fits. And this dope, uh, this dope Titan hoodie. Very soft, I believe it's 80-20, you know, 80% cotton, 20% polyester. That's just a fun shout out. I It works, I'm, I'm a person who actually won something. So all I did was comment on their page and they gave me that. All right, so back to this. You find a company. Let's say you found this company called Fancy. Now this company is dope. I mean, they make some of the coolest content I've seen. Um, I really love the work of Paul Myers. He's a cinematographer that I started following after I heard about him through the Wider DP podcast. Sorry for the interruption. So Paul Myers, super dope. And I saw on his one of his pages that the production company behind one of his works that blew my mind was Fancy. So let's say we wanted to reach out to Fancy. I go to their website and find them, copy their URL, I go to Hunter, and I paste that URL in, and it will help find me a few names. It looks out, they found me a handful of names. I don't know how like private I should be with this, put them on blast, but this is a legal thing, I believe. I don't think I'm doing anything wrong. But I found some names and I found kind of their, what position they're in or like what their rank is, like the executive producer or director's assistant or media director or executive producer or maybe producer. Now how accurate those are, don't always know. So I always try to go to their website. You'll find typically in the contact or the about page, you might be able to find, you know, photos of the people who are working on that staff. And it might not be very important for me as a DP to hit up HR, but to be hitting up one of their creative directors and or executive producers. Some of the times you, you see maybe one name or barely a name. And it's like the first name dot last name. 
Well, that's where you also you do your research. Go to the website. Maybe you realize you cracked the code. They use their first initial and last name or last initial first name, vice versa. You can kind of figure that out. Then you use your contact page. And I say all this to say because then I take all this data that I've just found out and I bring it in to a Google spreadsheet and I call it as a prospect list. And in this prospect list, I have a couple columns. I believe I have email, first name, last name, company name, position, and then a balanced or response column. So what I would do, I would hit up the tens, maybe a hundred companies that are in each city, finding all the data I can. This takes some time getting all that information, putting it into a spreadsheet, first name or email, first name, last name, their position, especially what company they're with, and then fill out this whole list. Once this list is full on Google Spreadsheets, which is a free program, I then decide to export, not export, download a CSV, a common separated values current sheet or whatever. This is something that I was taught from companies I work with that are good at marketing. But I take that into a program that I pay too much money for, but that's still at a cheaper level, which is HubSpot. It is a CRM. HubSpot allows me to ingest this CSV and put it into their system. They're able to even add a little bit more data because of their skill sets and things that they have in there. They even add like the logos, which is kind of cool. Then add it to their contacts, like this whole like contact thing. Um, HubSpot, I, I'm definitely underutilizing right now, even though it does cost me $50 a month. And on that note, that's a lot of money I should not be paying for something that I use not every day. But it saves me time, which is awesome. I now have all this information in HubSpot, the CRM service that I'm paying for. It integrates with my Google um, you know, email, which in HubSpot, you're allowed to create templates. I'm, I might be losing you by now. I'm not quite sure if I have. Under these templates is something that I've discovered. I used to send personal emails to all of them. Nobody's got time for that. And I realized, oh, you gotta make it personal. They're gonna see your email. It's really important. No, but I, then it dawned on me, we're all busy. You need to be at the top of that list or the top of their recent emails to even get their you know, notice or get their attention. Once you make contact with them, you can start the dialogue and you'll figure out whether they are needing your services or maybe down the road, or we'll, we'll see if they engage with your email. What this $50 service also does is allows me to track these emails. I can see when they open that email. Like all of a sudden, boom, they opened it. And holy crap, it also tells me they clicked on the link. They clicked on my link to my website. That helps traffic, that helps knowing that they're engaging to some degree. And if they don't respond to you, Maybe your, my work is not very good or something, or there's some there's some sort of barrier, maybe they ran out of time. Some of the things that I was like worried about, like, oh man, I'm sending this to three, four, five people within that same company. In my experience, people don't care. Everyone's so busy. You send it to Jane Doe and John Doe's over here, and you send it to both of them, and he got it, and he's like, hey, I'm actually not the right person in this position. Let me share it with Jane. And you're like, fuck, she's just gonna, they're gonna get a very similar email, almost exactly with the, with the name swap, basically. I don't know if I've lost work because of that, but it's something that I'll roll the dice. I gotta keep sending out my information because I'm not a production company. I'm just a cinematographer working for these companies. So the more that they know of the creatives that are out there, I just need them to know who I am. One more thing, we're in my email and I'm trying to block with my hand even though I'm recording my screen and HubSpot integrates with my Gmail and allows me to have my templates, sequences, documents, meetings, and snippets or whatever. Some of those things I don't even know are underneath my, you know, to line and subject line. And so if I just go ahead and pick someone to send it to, let's just say I sent it to myself, I'm gonna do thank you for your time. This is a response I do often for people. And if I do visit these people, I also uh, keep it somewhat classy. Something I learned from people in, the, in different business industries, it's important to send a thank you letter. So I created a uh, thing from Moo or whatever. It's kind of a nice thick card uh, with my face, my email on there and a thank you at the top, and I will write a hand letter. This is for people that I've just met. They've taken their time. I've met with some people that, they did all of the graphics for almost the most recent, all of the Marvel movies, like some big companies, which is really cool. And for them, anyone to take their own time is something we never get back. So I'm gonna value that. 
and go one step further. If you're just getting your email exchanges through and like, hey, yeah, I'll see if, you know, see if I can fit you in down the road. We got some projects that you might be a good fit for. Don't send this yet. Send this when you work with them and or if you go and sit down. I've not gone there to pitch myself. I've just gone there to tell them who I am and just learn more about them and ask them questions about some stuff. So it wasn't about like, hey, uh, give me a job. I'm not looking for full-time work. I'm only looking to freelance with more and more production companies. So back to this email, um, I put in my name. I said, thanks for chat, or my subject, my template that I built, it's called thanks for chatting. It automatically put my first name in the head headline. It has my email thing and I can send it. I, it's just faster to send stuff. Try to, I should get back into making these videos more and more uh, often if you guys like this content. If you don't, hit the thumbs up button. If, if you like it, hit the thumbs down button or vice versa. I don't really care. I'm just doing what I'm doing. All right, guys. Thank you so much. Peace.